All right, so following some very important discoveries by Big Clive in a video, a link right up here. I've uh, come to the conclusion that my life has literally no other purpose than to actually buy a pretty high power, high output LED bulb and reduce its power, right? Because uh, over at my parents' house, uh, there's a lot of these installed and they're actually on timers and they run out after what, like less than a minute. And still, I think within a year, I want to say like 10 to 20% have actually went out with like a super, super light service. So uh, I have replaced one of those that went out with, with one of these and or actually probably an 800 lumen one. Who knows? I sure don't. And so yeah, let's actually take a look at this bulb and see if we can perform the same mod, right? See if this actually does hold one of those linear regulators inside. Uh, so first off, right, we would be looking for a pretty shit power factor. Um, let's actually look at the watts first. How is this showing 11 watts? Oh wait, this is like uh, low. Okay. Okay, contact. Damn, this is bright. Goddamn. All right, so 12 watts, and let's see the power factor. Uh, 0.6. Okay, so not super great. Good. So that being said, let's unplug all this stuff. And yeah, now this is a prop. I, my table's accruing damage. So let's see, right? This is definitely plastic, so. Right? I don't think. I really don't think I'm. Right, so I really don't think I'm fit enough to just like yank one off. Plus I do kind of want to retain its globular shape. And so what these usually have is a bunch of um, right, either silicon, kerny, kern, kern, what, what is that called again? Silicon kerny, right, the kerny, is it kerny? I don't know. It's soft stuff, right? Like sanitary silicone. So they have a layer of those. That's very good for high temperature. It's quite flexible. So it's often used to stick the globes on here. Yeah, these tools are pretty cheap on Alley. You can get them for like two, three bucks for a pair of, I think they're two or three. And they're pretty decent, right? And they do help in, in slicing through this stuff. I've seen people Dremel all the way around, but that's, first of all, highly destructive and highly unnecessary, right? I'm on my second pass now and I already can go a bit deeper. Don't wanna overdo it too much, but uh, I think we'll, we'll do one more pass and that's, that's gonna be it. I can still, ah, we're done. Boom. Okay, yeah, and Big Clive was right as, as always, I think. So what we have here, let me turn uh, turn some auxiliary lights on. Right, so we have a bridge rectifier, which is this piece here. I can see the minus and the plus, and then we have this regulator chip. You can see that it has an un unusual footprint. And what this does, right, and this comes in, in multiple forms. It, it sometimes has uh, just three chips. Those are the minimal ones. And we can see some very small resistors over here, right? So 4R70 would be 4.7 ohms. And there's two of them in parallel, so that's half, so it's 2.35. And over here... This looks to be like a discharge resistor. This seems to be the main capacitor. Let's see if we can we can lift this up. Oh, and keep in mind this bulb was uh, I I want to say like two three euros, kind of kind of like there. It is super light, super bullshit construction. Uh, right, made to fail. It it even said like three years on the box. There's, there's no way that lasts three years. I mean. Yeah, I, I really would be curious to see how they actually measure that. But yeah. 
Okay, so they are keeping the capacitors away, so that is actually quite nice. I'm uh, I'm enjoying that quite quite aggressively. And 105 degree rated caps. Uh, is this also 100 degree rated? Yes, it is, and they look quite decent. I'm not gonna lie. What do we have here? So like a choke. Hmm. Is this a buck converter though? Because it kind of looks like it. So like a buck converter with a settable um, current, right? So they probably use the same exact PCB with the uh, same exact component layout with one or two resistors, right? Or different value resistors. Yeah, that's that's quite interesting. Um, it is a pain in the ass to actually desolder this. Uh, what I want to do is basically pop one off and just half the half the power output, right? So we'd be expecting literally half the power consumption at more than half the uh, light output, right? Because they they do get uh, a bit more efficient as you under underrun them. All right, so the temptation is to uh, first of all check if these are discharged. All right, so this is fine. Uh, temptation is to crop the leads off and actually test my TS80 to see if I can actually uh, desolder one of these resistors. Technically, no, uh, it shouldn't really work. But let's see, I'm I'm quite bullish on my TS80. All right, so now that I cropped some of those excessively uncropped leads, let's, uh, let's try and pop off one of these resistors. Again, this is a TS-80 with a custom firmware from Raleem, and that actually does draw around 30 watts. So it, it does go up to 12 volts at the stock firmware only asks for nine. Uh, and again, this, this is over like the TS-80 is over quick charge. The TS-80P is over PD. And that does actually ask for, uh, for 12 volts. But I don't know, the design of this one is, is a bit cleaner. Anyway. All right, so I've applied a bit of uh, lead solder. Help set this bad boy free. And now I'm using the boost function, right? I usually work at 280 or 275. And you can see it's now cooling down. And I have the boost function set to, um, I think, 350, 380? 380, right? So get a bit more oomph out of it. And yeah, don't think this will be a big problem. That was actually quite easy. Let me just uh, clean up this area a tiny bit. Okay, I mean, technically we could um, sanitize this area, clean the flux off, and I will do this, but um, I do wanna try it out. So let's, uh, let's pop this back in gently, okay. There we go. Um, unplug the iron. All right. Let's go back to, so I, power factor shouldn't be much, or actually should be worse, 
now. What was it? 0.56. So let's see the watts. Boom. Half the wattage. Almost bang on half. Still mind-blowingly powerful. Uh, let's see the power factor. So tiny bit, tiny bit worse because we're basically just using the upper part of the sine wave, right? When the mains voltage is, is on its low side, we're actually not drawing any power. So this is why uh, the power factor is so bad. But yeah, so this this will be... I'll be doing this to 100% of the bulbs I'll be purchasing from now on. Um, I still do... Like, I'm poor now. Like, there's, there's no way around it. But I will be moving up the market and uh, try to get some, some more expensive bulbs. Although, more than 3-4 euros, it's, it's tough to come by nowadays even. But these ones, right, if you can actually downrate them like this, should actually have a very long and prosperous service life. Um, if you're in here anyway, right, it, it's probably good to ensure the best thermal contact between this plate and the, the radiator, radiative exterior. This is some doped plastic, which is a bit more thermally conductive. Uh, this just pops in. You can probably glue it back with, uh, again, some some sanitary silicone, right? I have this this stuff in, uh, in small syringes for smaller doses. Always leave a pip off. And uh, then you can, you can apply more. Stuff's very cheap, glues very well, and is reworkable. Much like this stuff, right? It's, it's quite flexible. Uh, yeah, basically I, I highly recommend doing this, right? Obviously do not electrocute yourself, but uh, if you're watching this kind of shit, you're probably fine. Have your mom on speed dial, I don't know. Take, uh, take whatever precautions you need. Let me know if your bulbs are the same. And yeah, on this topic, I'll actually move back to this kind of LED, this style of, of bulb. Uh, recently, I've purchased a lot of those filament ones because I thought they would be more reliable, right? They'd spread the heat a bit better. But uh, yeah, if, if those break, they're quite unrepairable and they are unmodifiable, right? Because they usually have the, all the circuitry in the base, which is clamped in. So there's no way you can get in there without M+. Plus, the bulb is usually glass, so that's, that's a big issue. So I think I'll, I'll change back to these. I'm, I'm not too fussed, right? These have a much different light output than those. Those are more akin to the incandescence with, with more output to the sides, but eh, win some, lose some. Yeah, I'm quite happy. I, I found this again. Thank you, Big Clive. I think I, I told him in the comments as well, but yeah, love your channel and awesome advice. All right, people, have a good one.